Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. I just made like a really long 10 minute video on Bitcoin <laughs> and I accidentally deleted it because I was deleting my videos to make to make space to create this video, but then I deleted the video. Um, anyways, um, I'm, I'm just going to go through this uh, a lot faster because um, this, this isn't really going to be a TA video. It's more of just a response to my last couple of videos. Um, target officially hit. It actually just hit in the video. It would actually, my target of 41K actually hit live which sucks because I, I i accidentally deleted it but um we just hit lows right we just hit let's go you know there you go see if you see this wick right here we actually hit lows of 4977 so our, our 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 target um of somewhere between 40 to 41k has officially hit i did not want to be wrong i, I did not want to be right about that which which is extremely uh, unfortunate also on the weekly you are getting signs of an early bearish week close and that is never a good sign never a good sign um if that week officially closes uh, bearish i am going to be converting all of my crypto positions i'm not going to sell i'm just going to convert everything into crow.com and i'm just going to stake it i'm going to convert everything everything that i have i'm going to convert it into crypto.com and i'm just going to stake it i'm just going to rely on um stronger payouts for you know per month and i'm not going to be relying on, on crypto that much because it does look like crypto is going to keep all it's gonna, is going to keep falling this is the first time which another, another thing that sucks is that my my weekly reverse macd has actually been if it closes it's going to be it's going to be i think one of the first times that it ever takes a loss um it went from you know it would it would have been a buy at 42 where did it close at? Close. It would have been a buy at 42.415. And right now it's sitting at 41.201. So it's about a thousand dollars out of the money right now, which is which is a bit concerning the fact that it dropped, that it just traded sideways, really. And it, and it actually went negative. So that's one thing that I'm definitely not okay with right now. And it, and it sucks pretty bad. But I. The only thing that I don't want is that I do not want Bitcoin to drop under 40,000, like 5417 at this wick low. This wick low was 4509. Yeah, I do not want Bitcoin to drop under that because I don't know. Right now, 392 to 37.5 seems extremely likely. The fact that we recover from here is 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 also, I mean, I don't know, man. It, there's really only two things that can happen, right? Either we close that. I'm not a hundred percent bearish yet, even though you know, even though things look ex like horrible right now, right? But there's only two things that can happen, right? Either you come back down here, or you close that bullish on the, uh, you, or you close bullish on the day, and I still think we can get to you know somewhere like a 51k Bitcoin. Every single time that we've closed a bullish day, we've gotten up ten thousand dollars, right? That's it. That's really it. So we're right on the verge of closing it, right? You can go maybe a couple of days, but I think this week you might actually see a bullish day close. Um, but as of right now, only two things that I can see, either you drop all the way down to 39.2 or to like 37.5, um, or, you, or you actually close that bullish day, maybe sometime this week, hopefully, and you run up to 51K. But I think that's, that, that's the last time I'm bullish. <clears throat> if we close a bullish day, <clears throat> and we and we do not cross forty eight one six four, I'm I think I'm bearish. I, I think I'm going bearish. I think there's there's no other way to put it. I think this is the last, you know, this is the last chance, the absolute last chance that Bitcoin has to recover. If it closes a bullish day, and then it immediately, like it gives us like a bear cancel or it doesn't pass this forty eight one high, then it, it it's all downhill. Um, I think another shitty piece of information is that uh, Elon Musk has officially said that he does not want to join the board um, uh, of Twitter, which is which is probably what hurt Doggy and the crypto market because people had an anticipation of maybe Twitter was gonna maybe that's maybe Twitter was going to um what is it called uh, accept Bitcoin as payment and because Elon Musk was on the board it might be Doggy also right so so that's why you see that big run up on Doggy but yeah. I will probably also be selling my doggy because uh, Elon Musk is not going to be joining the board. I don't. It doesn't necessarily mean that because he's not on the board that he can't still have influence. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Because right now my my doggy would be like around break even at around 14 cents where I bought. But I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm gonna sell anything yet. I don't want to make any rational decisions off of emotion because there's a bunch of crap going on. Um, but <clears throat> actually, worst. Let me see Twitter. Let's see how Twitter is trading pre-market. 
Twitter is at 45. It's not trading that bad. I don't think it's trading too bad. I think it might dump a little bit more, but you know, futures are, I think futures were like super red and stuff like that. Anyways, am I bearish? Not yet. I'm not, I'm not bearish yet, right? I can't be. There's no confirmation on the weekly. When the weekly turns bearish, then I, then, then I'm officially bearish. When the week, if the weekly is bullish, like it happened back, you know, like in late January, then I'm bullish, right? But there's no confirmation yet. Um, if we do drop under, like I said, that 40,500 ish level, um, I'm probably saying that there's like a hundred percent guarantee we keep dropping to 39.2 and then to 37.5. Um, a lot of the information this week is going to be pretty bad on the stock side, also, futures are bad. <clears throat> I think SPY is at. 444. I mean, you're, you're probably going to see a gap down from, from its close of 447. You're probably going to see a nice little gap down in the morning, right? It's right on support also. It's on, it's on pretty big support. If it breaks this, you're probably going back to 438. We'll tell you guys that right now. Probably going back down to, 4, 4, to 438. If As of right now, it, it, I don't want to say it seems likely, but it kind of seems likely that we're going to drop to 438 right now. Um, especially with this gap down. So, yeah, overall, the market doesn't look good, man. It just it just doesn't look good, um, both stocks and also for uh, for crypto. But there's there's really this 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 the only last chance we get is closing a bullish day. And then if that doesn't ha if that happens and we don't end up pushing as much as I wanted to push, I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely bearish. And I think the I think target price would be somewhere under thirty thousand dollars. So. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.